One of the many things that Qualcomm unveiled here at MWC 2018 in Barcelona was a reference design for its VR headset based on the Snapdragon 845 mobile VR platform. I got to play with it here on the show floor. Let's check it out. We already heard about some of the specifics of this platform earlier this year, but now we got to check out a sort of sample of it. I know what you're thinking, why do we care about a reference design? Well, just so you know, the HTC Vive Focus, which was only recently unveiled, was actually based off of the Snapdragon 835 reference design, and it took about a few months for them to produce that. So this is actually a sneak peek as to what to expect in upcoming mobile VR headsets. Two of the new things that the Snapdragon 845 mobile VR platform can do that was not on the previous generation is six degrees of freedom slam. So it used to do six off. That's sort of how it's tracking your body in the virtual space. By adding slam now, the system can better analyze where you are with reference to the room around you. So it makes for sort of a smoother interaction with your environment. In my demo that Qualcomm made, I was actually in an aircraft hangar on a spacecraft shooting weird bugs. I was able to walk around and it was really smooth, at least from my experience. Normally I get nauseated easily with these experiences, but with SLAM on the Qualcomm reference design, I didn't really feel that way very much at all because it felt like I was in the hangar itself. The other new thing that the Snapdragon 845 VR platform enables is foveated rendering. Basically, the headset has two cameras on the outside to sort of see where you are in the room, but also on the inside, there are IR illuminators to follow where your eye is gazing and then use the GPU of the 845 to focus processing power on what you're looking at so that what you're gazing at will always be clear. This saves energy by de-emphasizing the superfluous stuff on the periphery. Unfortunately, this feature wasn't live on our demo just yet, so I couldn't see how well it worked, but we should expect to see demos of that coming live around next month. Other performance benefits include the ability to push out 2K by 2K resolution on two separate displays so you have a more realistic high-res environment. The Snapdragon 845 platform also enables 30% better power consumption as well as 30% faster graphics performance. For battery life, that means that depending on the OEM, you could actually get a device that lasts 30% longer or save some battery space and then make an equally long-lasting headset that's a lot lighter. Too bad we didn't get to check that out here on our reference design demo, but we're sure to see more of that stuff coming out in the headsets later this year. For more news coming out of Barcelona at NWC 2018, stay tuned to Engadget.com.